we need to make sure it works as always way too easy though there you go that's what i like to see we'll get some footage going and that's right youtube i think we're ready to go um so right when i start this video i it's gonna be kind of a weird one like um the meta primary tier list was a lot more straightforward like it was it was a lot more concrete for me me who's already a very much like a oh this is all subjective type of tier lister you know i'm not out here trying to be like oh this is the definitively the best the bit the best setup it's just like oh these are all oh, they're the best for me and i think that's kind of like people don't like that but in the end what you're really talking about is this s tier tier list is more of a kind of you know who's who of okay this weapon is really really cool but it's not as brainless as something like the kuvazar like we you can kind of it's kind of simple to understand like the kuvazar the tenant envoy you know like any kind of chain beam weapon like it's just so brainless so easy that it's like yeah it's just those are just on a completely different level they're like not even you're not even playing the game at that point you're just holding down fire and then everything dies um but these guys are a little bit more like oh yeah like you talk about the top couple it's like oh yeah it's a it's a bow and it pierces infinite enemies but you just have to be able to you know corral enemies into a line to like actually take advantage of each shot properly which is slows down gameplay and makes it a little bit worse but you know it's still an s tier it's still the top of s tier so that's the whole point is like it's not s tier a tier it's meta and s tier because both of these classes of weapons it's like you can do fine like okay if you're using the dreaded card the game is not difficult okay folks like even if you don't have a ribbon like part of this list is also being like oh yeah if you get a ribbon for any of these obviously gg like gg in in all gameplay like you know whether it's a meta or an s tier like when we get into pistols even more so uh but yeah i think we should just get right into it i hope that explains kind of the philosophy behind this video because this one is way more wishy-washy so like i wanted to show off some different types of weapons that i see as like oh yeah this is really strong in certain situations but it kind of suffers a little bit because of x or y you know the fire rate or the or the area of effect or things like that so um let's get into it number one on the list dread incarnate um it is just the infinite ammo or the infinite punch through bow it is an incarnate it is easy to charge excuse me i got some some stuff in my throat but uh easy to charge couple shots charge it up you know you get this really wide projectile like it embodies the dreads default arrow so well and it just it's savage it's got like a bunch of slash at least i'm if i'm remembering it right uh and yeah it is just oh my god it's so good and yeah it, 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 this is the thing it's like as long as you can line up a bunch of enemies it's gonna be so satisfying it's gonna make the game so much easier like with bosses also this thing just does a lot of damage <laughs> and it's like yeah and then number two on the list is the not a rook which is uh, essentially the same except this guy is more of just like a circle it's a little bit uh, thinner like it's not as girthy of a projectile um, it does do a lot of damage it does have the perfect shot mechanic and it has like 150 percent crit chance something crazy like that and obviously you know you can do some really simple like vigilante fervor and you know just buff it like crazy but yeah very similar just not as wide of a projectile so that's kind of an important thing but yeah we move on to number three on the list the kuva shakur um it's a great example to talk about what I would call a one shot gun, which is deceiving to say shotgun, but it's like, yeah, it's a gun that you just click something and it does a fuck ton of damage. Like, uh, I'm at the four minute mark. So yeah, I can say that it just does a lot of damage. Um, and it's just like, bang, that's it. And, and when you're talking about a one shot gun, you're really talking about like a gun that is best used with like some kind of CC ability. Like that's kind of why I have so many active CC frames is because there's like a lot of weapons where, if you can if you can maximize the kills per shot of your gun with something like you know vobin or zephyr or uh anything with coil horizon or like the new inaros you know all of these different frames that end up with these uh you know like active grouping abilities are like so useful and then you get like kuva shakur which is just you know very slow but also just deals insane amounts of damage you know the riven that i have puts it at over 200 percent crit chance per shot so it's like yeah it's, oh my god it's but yeah it's one of those things where it's like yeah you kind of have to perfect it and then it's like oh my god and then you yeah it's so simple uh but yeah that's number three on the list number four on the list very similar 
Tenant Ferox. Don't want to bump, bump the mic. I think it does have some kind of like minor grouping. It's very, very bad, but it's there. I mean, it's kind of cool, but yeah, it's just very similar. You just small AOE, big damage, click the group of enemies, and then they all die. And uh, it definitely, you know, it's like it benefits being able to put 10 enemies right next to each other. And then it's like, oh, wow, this is like the best gun in the game. <laughs> you know, you get you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, not a rook, dread incarnate. Like there are some there are some ways that you can buff it. You can make it a little bit better. But um, in general, I think that's more of a pure example of an S tier. It's like you kind of just have to play better. And then it does fine and you deal a lot of damage and it's really, really good. Um, but yeah, that's number four on the list. Tenet Ferox, number five on the list, Trumna, a full auto AOE. I mean, calling it full auto is a little deceiving because I think it's like a two bullet per second auto rate. So it's pretty slow. It's like click, 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 click. That's about how fast it shoots. Maybe a little bit slower, I you know. But what you're really talking about is like it just does a lot of damage and it has this alt fire that like in a similar way it's like as long as all the enemies are very close to each other you, they're all dead like you just alt fire them and then the, the the orb just bounces and then they're all dead and it's just too easy so uh trumna i mean part of why trumna is at number five is because like oh you have wisp you have goss you have uh, uh harrow any frame that is going to buff your fire rate. I mean, this thing has monster recoil. Good with Zephyr. Yes, yes, yes. See? See? Rich gets it. Like, it, it, these these weapons are more like, oh, it it has... It, it is very strong, sometimes in a game-breaking way, but it has this small little downside that either slows down the gameplay or makes it a little less trivial. And because of that, then it, it bumps it down to the S tier where it's like, okay... Use it effectively. Maybe if you're a god with the Trumna, then yeah, you're a god with the Trumna. But um, you know, it's it should be pretty straightforward to understand. Like it, I don't think it's too crazy to be like, oh yeah, Trumna, very very good, but could be better. You know, there are certain situations where it's like, oh yeah, now this is this is a broken ass weapon. Yeah, now this is a great fucking weapon. Uh, very similar to something like the Probusca Cernos. Um, the main reason I didn't put it on this uh, like tag, but it's a status only weapon, so it has essentially no crit chance. But as long as you're using something with Arcane Avenger, it doesn't matter how much crit chance your weapons have. <laughs> like Arcane Avenger, and then you have you always have crit cat. Wait a second, I have one thing that I need to check when we get back into gameplay. I don't think I re-equipped uh, crit cat, so we might have been doing gameplay without a cat. Um, Probuscus Cernos very strong like you shoot this bubble the bubble uh pulls enemies in um and then it's pretty much just done from there like um it's just way too easy i feel like i should have mentioned that um it's too late now but you know this i'm hoping to clear out this tier list a little bit quicker i'm moving a little too slow but yeah I, usually the tier list is about 15 minutes and then the the builds are like 40 so you know the vid the video will be broken up accordingly um Probusca Cernos, yeah, I mean, it shoots out tendrils, they pull enemies in, it lags the fuck out of your computer, and then uh, they explodes, and you get free viral damage. So it's, you, it just has a ton of status effects happening. There, It's like a bunch of, you know, slash and fire on my build, so kind of a weird build, but uh, still good. But yeah, anytime you get Arcane Avenger going with it, it's like, oh my god, yeah, here we go, this is what I want to see. Uh, anyway, Spore Lacer, number seven on the list. Spore Laser will always be a weird one. I had it higher. I actually had it in the meta category um, the last time I did this tier list. But I think in the end, there's this weird thing that happens with the primary shotgun kit guns when they have the infinite ammo that they just reload really weirdly. Like they have a really long like wind up and they reload really slow. And I'm just like, fuck, man. It sucks. It sucks. And I have to like always keep switching to my glaive and it's like, oh, is my shit reloaded or not? And it's like, oh my God. So it's like pretty good. I love having the infinite ammo. It does a lot of damage and it has this big, like absurd, like, like it's hard to define how big the area is sometimes. It's like very, very strange. Uh, but yeah, I mean, seriously, what's not to love? It's still pretty good, but you know, it's, it's, it's also hard to say like, how do you maximize this weapon? Like, are you using it with, with Goss? Maybe I think that might be a pretty good choice. Uh, cause you know, he does have the, the knockdown immunity, but you know, it's like, there are certain situations where 
the the weirdnesses that you have with the spore laser will go away and so it's like yeah that's why it's kind of more of just like an s tier weapon anyway number eight on the list stalta why is stalta on this list um i would say mostly because it is a giant orb of damage that deals a lot of damage but um it's got a long charge up you can basically jump in the air and shoot one bullet and then you fall back down so it does a lot of damage it does a lot of damage um but yeah there you know it's you got sometimes you if you have to shoot an enemy two or three times you really feel it and it kind of sucks in that regard but you know i you know i got this fucking savage ribbon for it and so it's like now it's like ooh. I know exactly when I want to use the Stalta. Like, I'll tell you that, folks. There, I'm like, oh, it's a Stalta night. I want to just hit it. Just boosh, and you get the, is it the shock rifle skin from uh, Unreal Tournament? I, or uh, oh, what, what is the game that they made before? Is it, it's not. It's a, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, I got to keep moving, but somebody can tell me in chat. Um, but yeah, I mean, Stalta shoots slow, big damage. You get the trade-off. It's pretty easy to understand. Similar to Gorgon and Karnan. Although Gorgon and Karnan is a little bit different because you can just shoot, you can just dump your whole mag, but it's a five meter AOE. So you end up with this, like, like it hits, it embeds, and then it explodes. So it's kind of the, you have to lead the shot a little bit. It's a little bit weird. You know, it's still pretty good overall. It does a ton of damage, but, you know, it has, it has its issues for sure. I mean, you'll figure it out. Like, it's not super crazy. I would say it's something that you just kind of have to, get used to and you once you use it two or three times you're like okay i get this now and and then you can kind of just handle it without any trouble so uh, i would say just keep that in mind um similar i mean the sporothrix is mostly on this list because i just don't like a sniper scope like i don't know if you still get the bonus when you don't have the sniper scope but i think you need to have the sniper and do all that shit but yeah it uh zooming in with a sniper i was like Ooh, like oh my god and then i'm like okay yep yeah, I'm, I'm playing warframe okay i'm playing warframe and then i have to get back to it so it's a little bit kind of jarring sometimes i might say but yeah not super crazy i mean this is all because of the new augment obviously you know the the new augment is just savage it, it's so fucking good um but yeah i mean overall what are you really talking about it's just it's just a sniper. That's the only reason that I that it wouldn't be like super crazy. And in most situations, it's like, yeah, you can use it. Yeah, it's not an issue. It's like, yeah, it's just it has a weird scope, and I'm a I, I'm a weirdo, I guess. Anyway, number eleven on the list. We are moving a little bit quicker now. <laughs> um, a still a prime. So a still a prime. You know, similar full auto AOE. You're seeing the same tags. Uh, this one has a kind of a small AOE, but it's got some weird stats like. I'm pretty sure my build has like insane slash damage uh, and then also a little bit of fire, but it's kind of crazy. I mean, I kind of love it. It's, it's very fun. I, I always have fun with it. Like, it, you know, it, because it doesn't have this massive AOE, it's not as absurd as you want it to be, but it's still really, really strong. Like you need click, a, click a dude twice and they're dead in most cases. Like it's not super difficult. Anyway, uh, that's number 11 on the list. A still a prime. Almost done here. Number 12, Kuva Ogris. Oh, Kuva Ogris. I mean, Night Nightwatch Napalm, first of all. Um, oh, my. Like, uh, it just does a lot of damage. But it's only status. That's, you know, that's obviously, it's only status. So, that's going to be the trade-off, you know. Um, as long as you have Arcane Avenger, do you really care about something being only status? Not really, but it's still something to keep in mind. You'll have to play around it. It'll be a little bit goofy. It'll be a little bit silly. Um, but yeah, it is, it is, it is crash your computer 9,000 also. I love it. It's so much like I was, I was testing Warframe in uh borderless earlier and dude, oh my God. I was like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fucking melt my PC right now. And I think it might be working. Anyway, number 13 on the list, Bratton Incarnan. Um, uh, the main reason that I put this on here and put it on here really low is just because obviously it has the same thing as the Torrid Incarnate where it has that, it has that Incarnate upgrade where it, ev the multi-shot pulls more ammo, but it makes the shots deal so much damage that like, you can't say no to it. Like, I'm like, ah, I hate it, but it's also like, ah, I love it. Like, like what I, what I was talking, I was talking to somebody in TikTok, um, and I was like, I was like, oh, I mean, I have to just do it because it just, you have to choose the fucking comical upgrade that has this big downside. And it's just like, oh, it's so worth it. Like, yes, you do spam the 
Torrid and Karnan swapping modes like way more often, but it's like, yeah, oh, it's worth it, dude. It's it's worth it. You know, it'll 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 be like the signature in Karnan for all of time for me because it's just like it has such a weird gimmick that it doesn't actually make it more difficult, but it does also make it more difficult. But that's only because I'm a fucking caveman. Um, but yeah, I mean, Brad and Karnan, what is it, a three meter AOE or something? Not very big, but you click anything and it dies. So it's fucking awesome. Anyway, let's move over. I think we're good. Um, I think we're ready to talk about oh, the builds. The builds, of course, the builds. Let's do it. I'm going to try and be real speedy about this because most of these are pretty easy. Dread and Karnan, I have no idea where in the usage list the Dread and Karnan is. Let's see. Right here. Dread and Karnan. Okay. Incarnate upgrades as always. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> uh, with hate and despair equipped hits damage. Uh, yeah, I, I guess this is the only one that I was good. Maybe this is a bad choice. I haven't played this in so long. I wish I could play this game, but I feel like the game is all over the place. I don't know where to start. Um, I usually say get to Master Rank 4 so you can get the Zorus. And then also do Fortuna so you can get a kick gun. Uh, projectile speed and bonus crit multiplier. Whatever, dude. This might be a bad choice, but I think it's kind of goofy. I think the other two are probably just lame. And, and they were like, oh, yeah, if you have a Warframe with more than 500 energy or whatever, then it's going to be really useful. I'm like, yep, whatever. Sorry, dude. Uh, there's the Riven build. We'll show that off later. Very bog standard. Uh, that's, I, you know, I shouldn't really be saying that, but... Um, what are we really talking about? I mean, standard multi-shot as long as you're using Vigilante Armaments. 8.8 .8 on the multiplier is Savage, you know, 9,300 damage. Uh, yeah, it's got no slash, so it's not, it's, it doesn't have slash. So the slash is coming from Hunter Munitions. Um, I guess it has heat damage as well. What the? It has 596. <laughs> it's like nothing, but hey, maybe you get a free heat proc every once in a while. It is 125% crit chance just with point strike with a charge rate of 0.6 i mean it's pretty good overall uh what other parts should i use with a spore laser uh yeah i could show that off i mean uh i think you you have to use the max capacity loader from demos the one that gives you like 22 shots or something it's so nice but then you you can use something honestly i would say use all three of the demos parts you could use like one of the primary but yeah the spore laser primary is fucking savage but also the Spore Lacer secondary is really good too. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. But yeah, pretty standard. The Riven is cold crit damage damage. So you're getting some fucking goofy ass number. 13.3 crit multiplier. <laughs> Same build. It, it just I just replaced uh, the fucking cold mod with that. And it's very similar stats. It's just destructive. Oh my god, folks. Uh, keep moving. That's Dread Incarnate. Number two on the list, not a rook, definitely higher up. Uh, I don't even have a ribbon for this. Super easy. Uh, just stacking damage and then using hunter munitions. Uh, we're looking for perfect shot, 180 crit chance, very nice. 5.3 multiplier, kind of lame, but um, you do get vigilante fervor, so that's going to get you the vigilante set bonus. Uh, and then, of course, hey, puncture is pretty cool. Slash 667, don't really give a fuck about that. Uh, let's see. 3.9% slash, yeah, whatever, who cares. Uh, Hunter Munitions, there you go, with a lot of damage, with 15,000 total damage. So that's going to be the strat, very easy to use, very simple to understand. That's literally all of my builds, if, in case you haven't noticed. I just, I've sp I've been spamming that shit for so long, like, can't even remember. Anyway, Kuba Shakur, let's do it. I've got Shadow four con, up. excuse me, configs. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay, uh... What's different, folks? What's different? I don't see anything that's different. 150% crit chance with a fire rate of 0 0.9, so you can almost shoot one bullet a second. Uh, with a magazine of 11 and a reload speed of 2.5. Actually, not bad. Uh, you get an explosion Oh, that has, what, uh, ooh, like one-third as much damage, maybe almost half as much damage. Uh, you get a little bit of slash, whatever. Who cares? Very simple. I am going to use Prime Sniper, uh, Jesus, Prime Sniper Ammo Mutation. And then also Vigilante Armament so I can just have more multi-shot. So I can just proc Hunter Munitions more often. So pretty simple. Stalta build. Yep, I will be showing a Stalta build. That's number eight. I'm at number two. Funny you mentioned that. See, he gets it. Or they get it. Excuse me. Uh, Tenet Ferox. Down on the list. 
Uh, still in the list though. Here, right here. Ten of Ferox. Ignore the Riven, as always. Ignore the Riven. Um, pretty straightforward. I mean, once again, it's a very simple build. Obviously, because it's a tenant weapon, you get that built-in toxin damage. Uh, what I'm looking for is 4,200 on the damage and 1,200 on the AOE. Uh, stats don't really matter. It looks like, yeah, you're just kind of spamming the fire rate. Uh, the attack, or you're just kind of spamming this normal attack. Oh, it's got 1.5 punch. That's a little weird. With a fire rate of 2.3, charge rate of... What is the charge rate? Oh, here we go. Oh, interesting. It, it, does it not tell me the charge rate? Oh, charge rate, 0.5. Never mind. I'm dumb. Half a second charge rate. Super easy. Who cares? Um, I mean, what's what's different, folks? You're saving a mod slot. I am using hammer shots. Some people would say use uh, uh, bladed rounds. You know, if you want to use bladed rounds, use bladed rounds. Great. There you go. Easy choice. Um, and, of course, the Riven. Damage, multi-shot, crit damage. Um <laughs> uh, uh, a uh, hundred percent crit chance, eleven times multiplier, seven thousand damage. To I mean, it's just numbers at this point, folks. It's just numbers. I don't know if I showed off the Kuva Shakur Riven either. Uh, I could go back and show off that one. That's kind of a that's kind of a pretty good one. There's a reason this is my most used weapon. Uh, crit chance, damage, projectile speed. I'm hitting two hundred percent crit chance, so that's really the only reason it exists. Uh, it's just being replaced. I'm just replacing uh, vigilante armament. So easy, easy swap. Super simple. Anyway, there's a, there's also another Riven Showcase. Uh, number five on the list, Trumna. Higher on the list. Higher on the usage list, anyway. Um, spot the difference, folks. I mean, I am rocking the 60-60s because I do like having a little bit of heat damage. Especially on the AoE, you come over here. 30% uh, heat, 36% viral is pretty good. So you kind of, you're getting a decent amount of heat procs on that AoE. Uh, with critical delay, it is a 3.7 fire rate. So, you know, almost four shots a second. Not bad, but still pretty slow. Uh, the alt fire is just stupid numbers. Uh, pretty even on the heat damage. I like that. Um, and then, yeah, it's got 100% status and 100% crit chance. So, uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward to understand. Uh, but yeah, I mean, 72% crit chance on this nor on this uh, normal form, kind of not great. You also probably need to use primed rifle ammo mutation because uh, you're picking up 60 from pickup. So, you know, when you dump a magazine, you'll get way more ammo if you use primed rifle ammo mutation. But that's about it. Um, you know, maximizing multi-shot so I can get a bunch of heat procs. And a bunch of hunter munitions procs. So that's kind of all you really need to understand. Um, crit chance, projectile speed, toxin. Projectile speed go, like does fuck shit with the alt fire. Like it's just insane. And then look at this. Saving a mod slot. So I'm replacing this toxin mod with hellfire. So I got 5,000 heat. Um, I could replace this with uh, the other heat mod. Because right now I'm rocking 336. Like if I went in here... Uh, I, do I have the mod points? I might have exactly enough mod points or close to it. No, I don't think I have enough. I think if I did this, it wouldn't work. Let's see. If I went in here and did this, yeah, I don't have enough mod points. So yeah, um, you could do that. You could do the other heat mod, uh, 80% status. You could get that to, I think a hundred. Yeah. You could get that to like 118 and that would make the alt fire a lot better. So I would say you could probably do that. Like, we could just do a little test. We could swap this. And that's going to give us 270 and 250. So, like, basically dead even. And then the, the AoE is still better. And the AoE is still better. So, I would say that would probably be the better choice, in my opinion, is using uh, the status, the 6060. Um, so, you know, if you're interested, that would be a that would be an interesting choice. But I would say that would be about it. Um, anyway, yeah, Riven, pretty nice choice. But that is, like, a unicorn. So, you know, I don't know if a lot of people are, like, rolling those types of Rivens. Uh, anyway, here we go. Let's do it. Proboscis Cernos. Let's go. Um, ignore the ribbon as always. Ooh, this is a fun one. Look at this. Heat and slash and then a bunch of damage and multi-shot and that's it. And then I'm using speed trigger. Uh, so we're getting some weird numbers. We got 6,400 on the heat, 
4,300 on the viral. That's the AoE. Uh, and this damage is actually the tongue damage. So you're getting 1,300 slash and 1,700 heat. So it's kind of going crazy. It's doing a lot of a lot of crazy shit. You're doing a lot of damage. 68% status is a little deceiving just because it procs status like so often. It's such a weird weapon. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about the Riven. Riven is slash and damage. So it's just replacing <laughs> the slash mod. And now I've got 1,400 slash, 2,200 heat. And then we're rocking 32,000 damage on the AoE with a 7 meter range. So it's just... Oh my god, folks. And you're obviously only getting one arrow per pickup, so you just need normal arrow mutation. So super easy, super simple. I mean, it's very, very fun. We are at Spore Lacer. Next one is Stalta. I will show off the my choice for the Spore Lacer. So my favorite build is actually the full demo setup because it's got really fast fire rate. You could slow the fire rate down a bit, but I think it's actually best used being able to like dump its mag but you could use a faster primary like one of the the fortuna primary stocks that moves a little bit quicker you could probably slot that in and it would work just as well uh but yeah i mean i'm still using like uh cold and toxin even though it has built-in toxin just because you know you you get viral on both hits now so it's a little bit better um, but yeah, you know, we're kind of just keeping it moving. It's a very standard shotgun build. I like having silent battery in here because, um, you can get the vigilante set bonus from vigilante armaments. So, uh, it allows you to have a silent weapon if you want to go in with Ivara or, you know, if you, that's really the only, that's probably actually literally the only time I ever need a silent weapon. Holy shit. We have a thousand likes. Damn. I missed that. Shout out TikTok. I think that's been the viewer on TikTok dropping in. So shout out. Um, yeah, folks, very normal build. I mean, I'm stacking damage on this because I'm just trying to maximize the Hunter Munitions proc. But yeah, I mean, the the Riven is Toxin Multi-Shot Crit Damage. So f that is some fuck shit. Um, you're getting a Multi-Shot of 3.9, so four bullets before Galvanized Hell. Um, that's insane. You know, 19,000 total damage. I mean, it's a, it's a range of two meters, so it's kind of a tiny range. But trust me when I say... You can dump 23 bullets very, very fast. Like, you can dump those bullets. Whew. I mean, it's very easy to understand. So, yeah, let's just keep it moving. That's number seven on the list. Oops. Um, number eight on the list is Stalta. I hope you're still here for the Stalta build. Uh, this Riven is just insane. You, yeah, just, just ignore the Riven. Um, so, of course, it has the normal fire and the alt fire. I'm only using the alt fire. I am using Vile Acceleration, which is a very, very interesting choice. And you're going to see why when you go down to the charge rate on this, which is still 0 0.84 seconds. So, it still takes almost a full second to charge this, this shot. It has a 7 meter AoE with 17,000 total damage. And it's literally just a hundred munitions build. Like you're just you have a hundred percent crit chance built in when you're using uh, vile acceleration and point strike, which is pretty nice. Six point six on the crit multiplier is very nice. But yeah, I mean the main thing is you're just stacking as much damage as you can. Uh, and then when you use galvanized chamber, you're just hoping for enough multi shot that one of the alt fire hits gets a slash proc, and then whatever got hit by that proc is dead. And that's kind of all you really need to think about. This is nice. Like, if, if there's a boss, you can shoot it in the fucking face with this thing. You can literally aim at its body or, like, you know, yeah, you probably just have to aim right at the center of mass. And you can get, yeah, you get 8,000 on the main hit and then you get 17,000 on the AoE guaranteed. Obviously, it's, like, 99% viral. What is this? Yeah, it's 35% viral. So, you're you're basically never getting a slash proc, but it's it's... It's fun. I gotta say it. It's fun. Alternate fire charges or radiation consumes. So yeah, the, yeah. I know what the alt fire is. Yeah. Anyway, here's the Riven. Crit damage, cold projectile speed. That's it. It's just cold, crit damage, cold, but it is a lot of crit damage because I don't think a lot of people use the Stalta. So it's not. It's not as much as primed whatever. Oh my God! We have Rob sharing the live. Shout out, Rob. This is just replacing the cold mod. We're sacrificing about a thousand damage, but we're getting an eleven times crit multiplier with a hundred percent crit chance. So insanely savage. I mean, very very fun. But of course, the zero point eight four second charge time is like 
fuck you. Like, I hate it, but also I love it. But also, God, I have to play. I have to play differently and it pisses me off. Right, folks? That's been the theme of this whole this whole tier list. Anyway, number nine on the list, Gorgon and Karnan. Here we go. Let's talk about some Incarnan upgrades. Uh, on shield break, increased damage. So it's a freebie. You actually get it all time on all weapons, or excuse me, all Warframes. So snagging that one. That's an actual gimme. That's super nice. Uh, less recoil is essential. That's a critical one for charging it. And of course, 6% crit chance, which is going to be a little bit deceiving. So let's get right into the gameplay. Once again, let's talk about the normal build. Uh, we've got triple 60 60s, and that's going to be because when we get down to here, 2,900 heat and 2,200 viral. So we're pretty much just barely favoring heat with 99% crit chance. Um, so you're talking about, you know, you're getting some really nice heat procs. You're getting some really nice uh, slash procs. And then, of course, you're going to get, you know, at least a couple stacks in viral and, and you know. It's just way too fun, folks. It's just way too fun. Um, fire rate is 0 0.94. You can shoot one bullet a second. And then it has like an embed delay or something. I don't know if it's going to tell me the embed delay. But yeah, I mean, that's the main thing. Uh, there's the embed delay. 0 0.8 seconds. So you can shoot it once a second and each bullet takes another almost a second to trigger. Uh, do you have phage on the list no i don't have phage on the list yeah um phage is like one of those beam weapons where i'm just like eh. phantasma prime is just better like phantasma like i hate to say I, the phage i've just never really liked because you have to zoom in and then you have to keep holding it down to keep that beam range and it's just like oh i want it to be better i do um anyway that's number nine on the list let's talk about the riven cold fire rate and crit chance with negative 52 percent reload speed you don't want to see this reload 3.9 seconds four second reload actually not terrible do you like kids just a question says send gxe um um i hope you enjoyed the riven folks i don't know like i i mean i guess in a in a in a purely positive wholesome way yeah i used to like work for, at an after school program so yeah i would say i, I you know i'm i <laughs> i can handle being around kids is that what, is that what i'm trying to say in the not weirdest way possible i don't know why i'm trying to make it weird but or i am making it weird but you know folks it is what it is you get a comment and you just see the comment and you're like Whoop, and then you got to keep moving anyway five meter range is also something to look at like come on folks it's like basically takes two full seconds for this sh bullet to explode and it's like come on man come on <laughs> it's got this weird timing to it where it's still really good but it's just like what's going on right now right folks what's going on uh but yeah i mean that's pretty much it i mean the riven is savage 159 percent crit chance is juicy um they were almost definitely being weird about it you're all good <laughs> shout out folkloric sword uh archon way says four second is pretty bad what's the best weapon so far uh well the top of s tier has been dread incarnate uh because this tier list is kind of a more fun one but yeah that's pretty much the build for you folks we're at number nine number 10 on the list sporothrix once again folks the only reason that sporothrix isn't like super broken it is broken it does deal a lot of damage is because i don't like uh sniper scopes i just don't like sniper scopes folks it is what it is 1.7 meter range gets boosted by uh four meters on a direct hit uh it's got plus three punch through uh and barbs just explode so look at this you got built-in viral damage on the aoe so what does that mean i'm rocking pure slash and pure viral that's it or pure slash pure fire 1400 fire 900 slash we are rocking uh 39 slash 63 percent fire um I think that's still probably the best setup. I mean, fire is going to give you the armor strip. Uh, you are also getting slash on the AOE as well. You're getting 47% slash on the AOE, 60% uh, heat with a 18% viral. So pretty interesting. But yeah, I mean, once again, it just has a sniper scope. So don't really need a Riven for it. Really good. My tool is, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> wait my tool is you know what i'm saying wait what what are what <laughs> anyway volatile variant very good 
very good. 120% status, very good. 1% crit chance, very, very good. There's a reason it has 1% crit chance. Wait, did I even put hammer shot on here? Maybe that's a bad choice. Maybe, maybe hammer shot should be replaced by something like, uh, I don't know. I feel like even galvanized amplitude would be a better choice. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, oh, it's the exact same amount of status. Oh, there you go. So yeah, I mean, you do only get the bigger AOE when you click something. So that could be a choice. Um, you could replace that with, oh, I don't know, uh, something like heavy caliber would probably be the actual best choice just to get, what, what happens if I remove this? Oh, 84%. Oh, that's why I have it. Okay. There you go. There's your answer. So we want to get a hundred percent. So there's your answer. Okay. So it's galvanized amplitude then. Anyway, keep moving folks. Keep it rolling. Number 11 on the list. A still a prime. Definitely super high on the users list. I mean, one of the OGs, obviously I got Gara Prime right here, the signature, looking good, looking good. Oh my goodness, 80%, uh, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Um, let's look at the stats. So you're seeing, um, you're seeing some big damage on the viral stats, you're seeing a little bit of heat, and then also sweeping serration, but really let's just come down to the AoE. When we go to the status spread, uh, we are seeing 9% heat, 22% viral, and 21% slash. So we're almost dead even on slash and viral. So that means you're getting a lot of slash procs. Uh, you're getting a little bit of heat, not a lot, but the main thing is you have a 24 round magazine with a 1.5 second reload. And then of course you got a fire rate of 3.47. So pretty slow overall. Uh, very similar crit chance to the um, Tenet Archiplasmor in the sense that it just does a lot of damage at base. And then every time you get a crit, it just does stupid shit. Like it just, oh my, that's why I have all crit stats in here. So it's just a really fun build. Obviously the Riven is Toxin Heat, which is very weird. But you end up with this, the most god tier stat spread you've ever seen. Look at this. Slash 17.7, .7, Viral 18.7, .7, Heat 18.5. So every bullet, every AoE from this bullet is like so perfectly evened out like you're getting all of that shit lance says what up my guy what's up lance good to see you in chat uh you know we are cruising through the build we are about to close this out but yes the riven a very risky riven i will say this getting two different elements on a riven is a gamble and a half but the strategy is you always need to have either toxin or corrosive at the bottom so um let's say you run corrosive and you also want to have heat. So you need to have heat above either toxin or electricity to truly pull it off. So, like, for example, if I put... Watch this. If I... Uh, where can I move this? If I move this over here, then it becomes gas and cold. Because, look, the heat and the viral... Or the heat and the toxin mix together. And they become gas. And then the, the cold is added in last. So as long as I put cold before the Riven mod, now it becomes viral guaranteed. And then I also get heat on top of that. So that's how you're getting this monster of a stat spread. Just fucking goofy as shit. So it's really good. Really fun. Um, but yeah, that's number 11 on the list. That's a still a prime. Let's talk about Kuva Ogris. Obviously insanely high on my usage list just because it's a monster. But the build is very, very normal. Um... Pure status, Nightwatch, Napalm, incredibly fun. Incredibly fun. Uh, AoE is 30,000 damage with 4,800 heat and 4,900 viral. So when you go to the stat spread, you do have 100% status, 39.5% heat, 40% viral. So that's the initial hit. And then the Nightwatch, Napalm is just guaranteed heat proc. So you're just stacking all the damage mods alongside... Uh, you know, as much fire as you can get, which really is just Hellfire and then Viral. So pretty normal. Of course, the Riven is just damage heat. So it's fucking fun. I mean, it's not perfect. Uh, when you go to the stat spread, you're still talking about 33% heat and 43% Viral. But when you come down here, it's still 35,000 damage. So overall, it's still a pretty similar stat spread. It's not perfect. It does a little bit more damage, but still a pretty good one. I had to roll this way too many times, so I had to just keep it. Daniel Reyes says, yo, it's my favorite TikToker slash YouTuber. That's right, Daniel. Every Wednesday, you can always find me here. 
7 p.m. Pacific, whatever that is for you. Oh my God, we have 3,900 likes. I don't know why I don't look at the likes. Those That's insane numbers. Oh my God. Anyway, keep moving. That is Kuva Ogris, the second to the last Warframe, or excuse me, the second to the last weapon in the S tier uh, list. Let's talk about Bratton Incarnate, the very last one. Let's get into it, folks. At the 7 minute 40 second, excuse me, what did I just say? Uh, at 7.40, we are 40 minutes into the stream, so doing pretty good on time. Uh, oh, where is the Bratton Incarnate? There it is. All right, right there. Here we go. Here's the goofy one. Bonus multi-shot. But also, multi-shot consumes ammo directly from capacity and increases damage by 54%. Whew. Oh, it's juicy. Uh, bonus capacity, 1125. Gotta love it. Whatever. And bonus crit chance and bonus crit multiplier. Very, very good. For everyone in central time, that's 9 p.m. Yeah, dude. Central time. I don't know where central time stops. Uh, Is it like... Is it Nevada? Is that the line? Or like is Colorado, like is the western border of Colorado, is that still central time? Uh, anyway, before I get distracted and pull up a map of the United States again, Bratton Incarnin, folks, let's do it. Incarnin form, that's all we care about. Three meter AoE, I was pretty, I think I was probably spot on. 190% heat and 229 viral with 144% uh, crit chance. Uh, status is 66 so we're looking at a pretty decent stat spread overall it's kind of cool you get slash damage in there 16 percent slash uh 36 percent viral i just have you know this is just the base heat damage that you have built in um but yeah there's the stat spread looking juicy as always looking very fun um multi-shot at 2.6 as long as you're using vigilante let's talk about the riven crit chance heat oh my god yeah that's fucking savage no wonder i have so much heat da heat damage jesus <laughs> damn okay 240 on the crit chance i'm like i'm like returning to this build after a long time yeah that's a fucky that's a pretty good riven 200 percent crit chance i like how s people still don't use the bratton incarnate so the 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 riven disposition hasn't t changed so yeah you just get you just get almost the same amount of heat damage as 260 60 mods. Like, that's fucking insane. 240% crit chance. That's so fucked. Have you noticed that, uh, you know, anybody who's watched both this video and the meta uh, primary video, tell me how many of my weapons didn't have Rivens. I want you to play that little thought experiment. And the answer to that is every single one of these weapons that I've showcased has a Riven. And why is that? Because that's the only real way that I've been able to judge them. There are very few weapons that I feel like are just so good that you don't need a Riven. Like, most weapons love Rivens. Like, I would say, suffice it to say, maybe all weapons are better with a Riven. If you can roll a weird fucking Riven, then you can do some absolute fuck shit. But before I get distracted, folks, we are at 743. I think we're moving pretty quick. Dread Incarnate is our first... S tier primary uh, primary weapon. So I'm going to try and choose a, a Warframe that will suit this weapon well. Um, and I would say that might be someone like... Ooh. Here's an interesting choice. Maybe I use it with Corvex. I could use it with Corvex. Um, hmm. Although I do just feel like using it with a CC frame. Corvex might be a fun choice because he's the only one that squishes enemies in a line. Uh, so I could play him a little bit. It might be fun just to do it for these top two. And then we can move on to a different one. So let's play with Corvex, folks. <laughs> Have not played with Corvex since he came out. I played him a whole bunch. I got him to 0.3% usage and that's it. But yes, folks, we're choosing a good synergy. And why are we choosing Corvex for the Dread Incarnate? Well... Because Corvex is going to corral enemies in a line. And why is that important with the Dread Incarnate? Because the Dread Incarnate has infinite enemy punch through. So as long as they're all in front of you, they all die. So we're going to play the game and show off how that works. You're going to have a good laugh. You're going to be like, oh, ho, ho, wow, Warframe is such a cool game. Keep in mind, um, when I show off the builds, I do respect. show off the unriven Honor builds. But when I do the tests... These are riven tests. These are absolutely riven tests. We are we are gonna show off the full glory of 
the thousands and thousands of Kuva that I have spent rolling these godforsaken fucking ribbons. Um, and the whole point is like, folks, if you've played this game for long enough, you know the only real way to judge all of these insanely strong weapons is to get a ribbon for all of them and see how they work at their fullest, fullest potential. Did you see that? I fully charged this in two shots. That's fun. Um, I'm gonna just get as much energy as I can and see if I can test this corral. Let's do this. Oh, that is just goofy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I mean, tell me you don't love this game. Just, yeah, I dare you to tell me you don't love this game. <laughs> Are you seeing all the affinity numbers? Just look for the white affinity numbers that pop up after the enemies. Look, I am literally just standing here tanking shots, doing whatever the fuck I want. I haven't even used Breach Surge. Oh my god, Corvex has Breach Surge. I could double up right now, but I don't even need to. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> yep, I mean, Corvex cracked, yes. Corvex cracked. But this this map specific, specifically is also just insane. Occurring. But are you just seeing these numbers, folks? Are you seeing these numbers? You've waited long enough. All the people that have been so patient, all the people on YouTube that have been so patient were finally playing the game. I know. I know the comments, they say it. They're like, God, it's a two hour long video. And I'm like, I hate when I forget to mention it at the beginning of the video that like, all right, folks, the first section of the video is 15 minutes long. That's the tier list. You have comments based on the tier list, <laughs> please. At least watch the tier list. It's 15 minutes long. <laughs> I get, I get it, I get it. There's, it, it. You look at the video and you're like, oh, and I'm, I get mad and I'm like, I'm gonna leave a comment. And it's like, oh God, I fucked up. No, that's what happens. I have to just be real with myself. It's just, that, that's just the truth. Like, if I don't mention like right at the beginning that folks, the tier list is only 15 minutes long. <laughs> yes, there are, there are 15 minutes of tier list. There are, uh, what, 25 minutes of builds. And then for the last, what hour and a half it's just gameplay i am corralling these enemies very poorly i am looking like an absolute simpleton but yeah folks i mean tiktok loves it uh what am i missing uh i i don't know but i think i made hildren a monster in circuit because i put five blue archon charts for armor oh my god that's insane five for armor i think i have two for health on hildren so hildren has as much health as like every other frame in the game that's what I realized, like, Hildren has the same base health as every other Warframe. It's just like, she has so much more shields that the health numbers look tiny, but you can still- Oh, I fucking discharged it because it doesn't have a, a reload animation. Like, uh, you have 1100 health when you just put two blue Archon shards in, so it's just insanely useful. And then now you can just spam shit so much easier. I'm gonna not use Syrinka Pillars, actually. I'm just solo mentory. Did I say solimentary instead of just saying solely? Did I combine solimentary, which is elementary, and solamente? <laughs> That's a new one. That's a new one, folks. Shout out. Um, what am I missing? I'm trying to read TikTok right now. Uh, hopefully, Fortified uh, is going to be crazy. Uh, Fortified? What are you talking about there? We're going to hit this. We're going to hit... Uh, oh, that's violence. Oh, that's why I can't use that. Let's see how the gun does. Oh, that's a big damage. That's a big shot. That's a big shot for you. You love it? I love it. Come on. And then, of course, we can finish it off very simply with a Falcor. There we go, folks. We're at 342. Uh, like I pretty much do with all these missions, I'm not going to, like, stay for the whole... I'm not going to stay to kill the Thrax enemies. I don't really have the time for that. I'm trying to... As soon as this shit hits five minutes, I got my Steel Essence. I'm fucking out of here. I will, uh, I will kill them if they show up sooner than five minutes but as soon as that thing hits the decree fortified will oh oh the oh the is that the one that only works if you have armor because if so i probably just never used it i was literally like yeah this is fucking useless because not all my frames have that armor so i'm just not going to use it but obviously with certain situations it does work you know just because it's not not as common as you may think as always folks we get a free battleist kill i guess uh, we'll hit him with this. We'll hit him with this. That'll kind of bring them all together. 
happened? What happened? Did he just die? Did he just die? Oh, I forgot they get damage vulnerability as well. So I guess I am kind of just dealing a fuck ton of damage. It'll be good. We're going to do this again with the Nadara. Trust me, folks. It'll be fun. I'm probably just going to hit this guy with the Valkor that he's dead from hit. Look at that. Too easy, folks. Way too easy. Keep moving. We're at five minutes. I mean, these guys just spawned. How much damage do I do? Hit him with this. And then we'll just try and shoot them and see how we do. Yeah, what is it? Three, four hits? And then I swap. And then hit him with that and he's done for. There we go. I will need to pop this just in case. He's going to convert. And then he's dead. Okay, and we're out of here, folks. So we're at 531, doing pretty good overall. So what do you think? I mean, I hope that explains it pretty well. Like, this... Corvex is built for Dread Incarnate. Like, I, you know you know what it is. Uh, this is Corvex, by the way. This is the, uh, this is the frame that was released with Whispers in the Wall. So he has a corral ability, like a grouping ability, where he lines enemies up like in a straight line within like 35 meters which is pretty absurd and then you just shoot them in the face with the dread incarnate it's fucking savage uh i'm moving too fast uh, good luck with the stream and the grind have fun and keep doing what you love shout out stooge kid almost missed that uh folkloric sword says we love kuva farming i can't walk through this because i'm trying to read chat uh what does breach surge actually do um so what breach surge does is like anytime uh Anytime damage so is dealt to an enemy affected by Breach clarity. Surge, I think there's a, either a percent chance or like a guaranteed chance to spawn a spark uh, that, you know, has a damage multiplier and then that shoots to another end, nearby enemy. So, um, it also has like a 40-something, like it has a pretty decent percent chance to uh, give them a rad proc and then also, you know, it also blinds enemies. So, it's got a pretty big area. It affects enemies really easily. Like, it just is very simple. It's kind of like this... It's essentially the same as Lavos's fourth ability uh, in terms of, like, uh, usability and how it works. Like, it's a ring. It's kind of like a girthy donut that spreads out. Um, sorry for the phrasing, as always, but let's go in with the Nadarook. Obviously, Nadarook doesn't even have a Riven. I didn't even feel the need to get a Riven because I'm sure people are like, yeah, I want a Nadarook Riven. Corvax, at least I think that's how it's spelled. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, you got it pretty much. It's Q O R V E X, like Corvex, like Q as in C sound. But I mean, super easy Accept to understand. Your death, and you and of course, with the Nadarook, it's got the gimmick that you got to get the perfect training. shots. Uh, but let's let's use the Nadarook when it's going to be a little bit more juicy because we want to show it off. I mean, it's like it's uh, it's obviously like talking about the Nadarook is also saying like folks, there's a lot more than just the Nadarook and the Dread Incarnate. There's a lot of different like there's Paris Incarnate, there's Sinta, all of them work pretty well. Like they're all pretty useful. But you can see like the Nadarook definitely has a smaller area. It's also faster though, so it's like it shoots way faster. Uh, these fuckers are just being absolute assholes. I can rush into this zone, but yeah, I mean, what you're noticing is, like, it's definitely not this fucking massive area like the Dread Incarnate, but yeah, look at this. They're all lined up. They're still all gonna die. Not super hard to understand. Um, obviously, I would love to have, uh, Arcane Avenger on Corvax, but I don't, so that does suck a little bit. But yeah, let's just keep moving, folks. What you're really talking about is click, and then you just spam. And yeah, it does actually shoot really fast. So that's the nice thing. It's like, yeah, you can you can fucking spam this shit. Hit this. And then you just click away. I mean, look at this, folks. Is it easy or what? Is it simple to understand? Absolutely. Like, it's kind of Warframe 101. Like, it feels like a, a, you know, a return to frame. Or like a return to form, excuse me, for Warframe. Where it's just like, this thing is fucking busted. This thing is insane. And it's so good. Uh, but that's fine. Having a topic for extreme, but do chill and talk is good content. Oh, Alf, are you just, are you just like kind of, are you just kind of like backing me up on what I was saying earlier? <laughs> Shout out Alf in the YouTube chat. Yeah, I mean, my whole thing has always been like, uh, I find that streaming on YouTube is not the same as streaming on Twitch. And the, the end goal is like, I'm going to get a little inside baseball on this, like, talking a little bit since you guys brought it up, but, like, um, like, the, when I hit 500 subscribers, I'll be able to apply to be a YouTube partner, 
And at that point, then I'll be able to have subscriptions. And so at that point, then I'm kind of... The, the content will change a little bit. That's my plan. It's like, once those once I can get those members going and you you know you can start sending super thanks and then now uh, my end goal is basically that um, YouTube and TikTok can be impaired. So the end goal is like everything can run through one OBS capture or you know one OBS like I, I need to have that uh, automated stream key. I need to be able to just pull a stream key and use that on desktop. That's rule number one. Um, but also like having memberships on YouTube, having already, like I already have subscriptions on TikTok. I can already make money on TikTok. Um, but then having that on YouTube, like it's like, oh yeah, then, then I can do things like, oh, the discord will change a lot at that point. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, the discord is going to change a lot. Um, I want to incorporate things like, you know, if you're a, if you're a member on YouTube, if you subscribe on TikTok, then you know, you get a badge, you get something like that. Um, and then what that really means is like when I do these streams, you know, I want to do, you know, like maybe once a month or twice a month, like, you know, one stream is like, oh, okay. So I collected some ideas from the discord. You know, I, I gave discord a chat. I was like, okay, discord, this is what we're talking about for the month. So when you get all your ideas together, you know, I want to see your builds, you know, if you can be there live, then you can be in, ch in chat and you can show off your build and you can show it off in game and. And, and play you know and, and we can talk about you know there's no right or wrong way to play this game like the whole point of why i love circulus is because it's just 180 to 200 it's steel path and it's just a great test you know you get six bosses every five minutes and it's a great way to kind of put you in a high stress situation have you thinking about your life support have you managing life support have you you know you're thinking about kills per second you're thinking about the bosses that are coming in you know it's really a it's really a good test and it's a great time to like have the community show up like I, I want to get you guys involved like the end goal is like I'm kind of making these very topical videos because you know I need that growth like I'm, I'm trying my best to like you know make some great videos for all of you guys to see that like okay okay this is what we're doing you know this will be a you know I want a video that I don't have to redo that's the main thing because, you know, the I already did these videos one time around, but that was a long time ago. And they're definitely worth getting redone once I've, you know, gotten better thumbnails and generally just had more consistent content. Uh, shout out Flame Wolf Vale for following on TikTok. First follow of the night. Shout out. Um, but yeah, I mean, what we're really talking about, folks, is once I hit 500 subscribers on YouTube, the content is going to be way more involved. Like, I want to get TikTok involved. I want to get you guys doing some weird shit i want to get you guys in gameplay because it's literally my end goal is you know the topical videos are great but there's only so many topics i can come up with like you know at a certain point i'm starting to like come up with staler and staler topics and it will reach a threshold where I'll, have, I'll have to like rethink but that's the end goal is like yeah we'll do some deep archimedia like that's the main one is i want to do deep archimedia with viewers i think that would be awesome i think that would be really cool because that is that is an insane challenge. Okay, we're actually just gonna leave. I'm not even gonna bother with those two. Uh, we're already at 5:23, so we're slacking. But yeah, I mean, I hope you saw the Nadarook. I mean, it's it's fun. Yeah, Circulus is the new meta. Is that is that what you're saying? Yeah. No, this I, and the main reason that I love Circulus is just it doesn't even have that good rewards. I don't give a fuck about Lua Thraxplasm. I have like thousands of Lua Thrax. But I'm not gonna use it. I don't give. A f I already have the Paragale. I, I, I don't care about the Arcanes. I'm not fucking buying any of the Arcanes. They're not useful. I'm not using them. A um, lesson. But yeah, I mean, just having six bosses every five minutes is just fucking stressful. Uh, oh, shout out Folkloric Sword for following right after that. Uh, Protea is probably my favorite when it comes to long survival. True. And honestly, Protea's second ability fucking slaps. They made it mad easy to get TikTok keys through Streamlabs. Oh, really? Interesting. Savage Excalibur. Now you've got me intrigued. What are you talking about right now? Or are you just talking about through OBS? Dude, if... if Because that's the main thing. is If I can do all of this through one OBS, that's the end goal. Like, I don't want to have TikTok live chat open. I can fucking open the TikTok chat. I can open the stream like in a, in a browser window. That's what I'm doing right now. I have it open in a browser window. I just pause the stream. So, what... I mean, folks, like... 
simplifying the stream. I already have multi-track video and audio. I've already figured that out. I don't want to waste any more time, but we are talking about my number one most used weapon of all time, the Kuva Shakur. Uh, and of course, for this one, I am going to choose a different one. Um, you can apply for the TikTok stream key through Streamlabs. I streamed a YouTube to Oh my god, damn. S Savage Excalibur through Streamlabs. Oh, interesting. Dude, then I gotta figure that out. I gotta figure that out because that's that's the one thing where if if I can do that, then I'm doing that. Do you actually have to use Streamlabs or can you just apply through Streamlabs and that's it? Hmm, interesting. How many? Wait, let me look at your. Wait, give me one second. I might be getting distracted here. Can I look at your channel? Oh my god, seventeen hundred followers. Yeah, dude, I gotta figure this shit out then. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude gamer moment right there thank you shout out i mean i'll check it out i gotta google it i mean i guess i would just google streamlabs tiktok stream key something like that figure it out that way yeah i mean for the most part i would i'm just i mean honestly to just do youtube and tiktok seems pretty fine i honestly Sometimes have been debating doing twitch i know it has good integration with warframe and so i've been thinking about doing it but i think i want to stabilize youtube and then start thinking about uh twitch but i'm getting distracted what i want to look for all of them are above uh limbo so i'm gonna use titania for this titania will be a fun one let's do it i've got the classic titania build so it's gonna be super fun yeah that's a great insight because yeah i've been really that's really been my only gripe is like the tiktok desktop app just fucking sucks i hate it runs like shit i mean it does use percent like zero percent yeah, if you're signed up for Streamlabs, it's at the bottom of your dashboard. Dude, that is, like, actually game-changing. I mean, I'm definitely fucking doing that. Oh, my God. Do you love it or what, folks? Do you love just the fucking ungodly amount of damage? Oh, my God. And then I love just sending enemies to space. So savage. I mean, this guy, you do actually have to quick click quite a lot. But, yeah, look him in the face and then shoot at him and he dies. There you go. Too easy. The Oricon Neural Sentry is attempting to purge you. Yeah, if you remember Stand by for life about wall leeching with Nidus. Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember Stein. No, I remember. I remember Steinex claps because he absolutely vindicated me. What was I talking about? What was I? Uh. What? It was, it was some. Oh my. Uh. Uh. Oh, it was Baruch or something. It was, so, it was, so, I remember it was this dude. I think his name was Obey Vina. And he was in the YouTube comments and he was talking shit. And then Steinax Claps absolutely vindicated me. And I was like, thank fucking Christ that we have a big boy gamer in the chat to absolutely prove me correct and stand by me in the most badass way possible. That's what I remember Steinax Claps for. Let's get into it with the gameplay, folks. Am I being lazy or what? I am playing as Titania. I can probably float pretty well, but yeah, this is the gameplay. Slightly reduced area of effect, but still pretty freaking juicy. I'm going to deactivate this, actually. And I'm going to bring it closer to over here. Oh, rebrand. Oh, Savage Excalibur. I like the rebrand. I like it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's get that. Uh, what is that? A defense buff? I think. And we land him. And I don't even have Roar active. Okay, let's get Roar active. Folks, do you remember how to play this game? That's the question that I have to ask myself every single week. Every time I stream, I'm always like, am I actually good at this game? That's the question. Am I actually good at this game or did I just spend plat to unlock everything? That is the ultimate question. But yeah, you're seeing, I chose Titania. I'm not going to choose Titania for the Tenet, uh, Tenet Ferox because it is slower with the smaller AOE. So it's just way too easy, folks. I'm kind of just moving at top speeds. But yeah, I mean, that's what I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to do it as quick as possible. Dude, if I can get a, a fucking TikTok stream key, that is going to be so insane. I almost slipped into Trump right there, folks. I don't know if you caught it, but it's going to be so insane. <laughs> Everybody on the left, they think I'm crazy. <laughs> Especially Biden. <laughs> Sorry it happened. I spoke it into the world. Sorry. I hate to do it to you folks. I try not to do it very often, but it comes out every once in a while. 
Uh, that's just the that's just the way of the world. It's the lay of the land. It's not even a very good one. It's it is always cursed. Like all of my impressions are always just cursed. Like I have this Bill Cosby that's just so fucking cursed. It's yeah. I'll, I'll like my, Will, my coworker, just fucking hates it. It's one of my favorite. It's like it's so. I haven't done it in a while, and it's good. To, like oh my god, I haven't done that in a while. Oh my god. I'm trying to think. I guess I yeah. I mean we we got we hired a couple new guys, so it's like it's that's a weird that's a weird conundrum to be in. That might be a Saturday and a Sunday thing to be really fucking weird about. Anyway, here we go. All right, I'm gonna hit this. I am not. Oh, I am in black and white, man. Oh, clutch. I don't even know what this guy is called. The Lone Guardian. Yeah, I'm not calling him the Lone Guardian. Sorry, folks. He's black and white, man. Now, not the Bill Cosby impression. Yeah. <laughs> no, I have. I, it happens very sparingly, but it, it every time it's like, oh, you you cannot be doing that, dude. <laughs> Do not do that. Like, of course, it's like not being recorded. I feel like the Trump is like more something that I can still do on a stream. But good God, that is a uh, that is some fuck shit to be up to. I'll I'll have to say it. I in no in no fewer words can I say it that way. I mean, like seriously, folks, you gotta watch yourself doing that shit. Shout out folkloric sword for that for that beautiful comment in chat. <laughs> but yeah, folks, I mean. This is the this is why I've been loving these topical streams because it's like the faster I can do builds like now that dude you guys should go back through and just look at how many warframe tier lists I did. I really fucking milked that shit. Like I'm I am like very impressed that like the first couple tier lists because I was still testing out OBS there were a couple issues and I was really really unhappy with them. Like, the tank tier list, I'm pretty sure is just fucking god-awful, like, just trash, like, F-tier level shit. Uh, but, you know, after that, most of the ones after that were really, really good. And, you know, the views were decent, like, you know, it's it's only, like, 2,000 views, but it's, like, fucking, like, for every, what, I, I don't remember the stats, I think it was, like, for every 10 views, there was, there was one hour of watch time, so it's, like, you know, at 2,000 views, most of those videos had, like, 200 plus watch hours, which is just, like, I mean, literally, I, so, you know, when you're doing the YouTube partner, you need 500 subscribers, and you need 3,000 watch hours in a year, and as long as you have those two stats, then you can at least apply. Uh, and I was like, oh my god, the watch hours, they're gonna be so hard. No, no, I, I fucking... Thumbnail, title, you know, making a good topic. It's 516, I'm dead, I'm fucking out of here, dude. These battleists, I swear to god. I should have just fucking killed them with the Falcor when I had the chance. But yeah, yeah, we were just, we are just saying fuck, it's all this shit. Hang on one sec, I need to do another round. We're out of here. Alright, folks. Guess what, I have Titania, goodbye. Oh, I don't even move that fast. Oh, I do. Oh, I get the Arcwing bonus, though. Look at that. <laughs> I leveled up Railjack like God knows how fucking long ago that was. But <laughs> still cruising. Still moving fast. I'm. It feels so weird that, like, Railjack Intrinsics was, like, God knows how long ago at this point. Like, I remember when I was like, dude, it's a space pirate game. And I'm like, dude, it's way beyond the space pirate game now. Like, they are into some kooky, kooky shit. Anyway, lesson. we're kind of cruising on through. We are at number three on the list. It's only 8 o'clock. Uh, we have plenty of gameplay ahead. Lots and lots of gameplay. Uh, next up is Tenet Ferox. We are going to be using a much more savage frame. But the question is, folks, who is the lowest ranked um, uh, grouping frame on my usage list? Who do you think it is? I'm going to say it's maybe Mag? No, it's Hydroid. Oh my god, it's Hydroid. Fuck off. Folks, have I been itching to play Hydroid? Yes. Have I? Yes. That's the truth. That's the honest to god truth. <laughs> oh my god, it's good. Life is good, folks. Tenet Ferox plus Hydroid. I couldn't have asked for a better combo. Like seriously, it's like it's like uh, chocolate and peanut butter. I mean seriously, folks. Hydroid and Ferox, you're going to see. You're going to see, you're going to sit back, and you're going to enjoy it. I mean, is it, is it, need I say less? Just, just, just enjoy yourself. Tenant Ferox with, uh, I believe a 
either a 10 per 10 times multiplier or something like that some goofy number Each that's what i'm thinking oh my god the uh, oh i one shot both of them oh my god and it just auto triggers so it just succeed. as soon as the charge rate is filled up it just the goes Oregon off i mean <laughs> i'm not gonna say it folks i'm not gonna say it you know what i'm gonna say oh we get a double we get a double arena spawn so we're actually just gonna be hanging out in the middle room uh so that's good to know right off the bat so uh essentially all we're really doing hitting this Getting a Ferox buff, getting the Plunder buff, and then we are hitting Coil Horizon, and that's going to be it. Coil Horizon plus 10 at Ferox. That's pretty much all you need. And they're all dead. Okay, uh, and then the range on the Coil Horizon is really the only thing you have to worry about. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to try and kite them into this hallway. So all we really need to do is hit this, pull them all in, and then just shoot them a couple times and then I'll die. We don't even really need anything else. Oh, and they're kind of all going to spawn in these three rooms, so I can just use Coil Horizon in any of these directions. And you kind of want to hit from a higher angle just to be safe. But yeah, I mean, you're seeing, I didn't even get the black and white man buff, and I'm still at a thousand armor. So yeah, it's I'm going to just not even use uh, Tempest Brush. I'm just going to only use the Plunder buff, which gives me a fuck ton of armor, and then also Tenet Ferox, and that's literally it. So I hope you enjoy. Let's keep moving. We're going to hit him with one of these. Uh, actually, two of them. Oh, I'm dead. I picked up every single one of those fucking energy orbs. Gotta love it. I need to hit this to get 868 on the armor. Much better. And now we can pull enemies in with a couple Coil Horizons. Maybe we need to do a Coil Horizon in the air. Oh my god, that seems juicy. Woo! Look at that. Maybe that's the strat. Let's see if we can perfect this. Oh my god kind of like that that's kind of crazy <laughs> that's kind of fun i like that that's kind of a neat way to do it i mean i'm i'm having fun it's good to, it's good to have another coil horizon frame like of course of course i've said it once i'll say it a thousand times a 30 meter vortex is insanely criminal look at this Woo! jesus christ i mean it just trivializes this entire game <laughs> Oh my god. I mean, I'm just... I'm cackling like a fucking monkey right now. I will say the one trade-off is, like, if you use it in the air, then sometimes they don't, like, all fall in the same spot. But for the most part, they usually do. I mean, it's crazy. Like, I'm at 94% life support. Like, this is... not I should be, like, letting my life support bleed out a little. I'm kind of, like, wasting life support. 482 on the armor. It's garbage. Let's try one more time. 904 on the armor. Much better. Uh, just sold my first prime set still broke as hell shout out folkloric sword as always for uh, Dropping the the bombs in chat. I mean, I can't can't relate when protea prime comes out I'm buying I think it has a new ephemera so you already know I'm gonna be buying all that shit and oh my god That's like what 4,000 plat or something and then it's also like a 90-day booster You get a 90-day affinity and a 90-day resource booster. It's fucking awesome. It is a lot of money, but it's like, dude, I already have everything in this game. I'm already making content on this game. Like, even if I wasn't making content about this game, I already play it all the time. I am the honored one. <laughs> Wait, what is the line? What is the Gojo line? Fuck, what's the Gojo line? On heaven and earth, I alone am the exalted one. It's something, something, something. I alone am the exalted one. I don't know the whole line, but I know that part. Everybody fucking knows that part. Like, <laughs> JJK fans are everywhere. They're everywhere, I tell you. They're everywhere. <laughs> you, you can't, you can't throw, you can't throw a rock without hitting the JJK fan. That took a while. Um, let's hit a coil horizon. I'm kind of dying more than I was expecting. It kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know what's killing me, as always, folks. That's part of the the gaming that we're getting into. But yeah, we're still at 67% on the life support, so still doing pretty good overall. Uh, my plunder is about to run out, so I'm going to hit this. 868, decent. Let's hit that. I am just going to use the Falcor on this guy. But yeah, I mean, what I was trying to say is just, um, like, folks, I already play this game literally every day. And now with the whole Kavia shit, like, I don't think you guys understand how many melee weapons I have. 
I don't think anyone really understands how many fucking melee arcane adapters I'm gonna need. Like, it's 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 a number that I don't even want to comprehend because it makes me sad to just think about like how long I'll have to log in to to do fucking cavia bounties like literally every day, like once a day every day for the rest of my life. I will be getting melee arcane adapters, and it's just gonna be this never ending. But it's also like. That's the whole point of Warframe. It's like, yeah, it is like a never-ending gameplay loop. And that's the whole point is there's always something to do. There's always like some weird thing that you have to farm. Like, oh god, I only have 200,000 Kuva. I need another 300,000 Kuva in case I want to roll 50 new Rivens. Right, folks? Like, it's all this weird shit where I'm like, oh, I need to farm fucking Void Plume Pinions. Like, folks, I want to show you my... I have a Google Keep spreadsheet of all the different like weekly warframe things that i have to do like every sunday they fought well i have to go to teshin all. to see if that sunday is the sunday that has the umbra forma because i need another umbra forma throughout the heavens and earth i alone am the honored one that's fucking savage yeah 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 that's the line i thought is it honored one or is it i think it's honored one can we get a warframe that can summon black holes yeah i feel it dude <laughs> shout out daniel reyes um, <laughs> I ain't even a fan, but for real, they everywhere. I'm like an old school anime type guy. Shout out Wolf. I'm not mad. I'm not and. Wait, what is Daniel Reyes saying? Anyway, what are we at? Number four on the list, Tenet Ferox. Let's do number five, Trumna. I mean, yeah, it's a good chat. We're having a fun time. I think that's the whole point. Trumna plus some kind of fire weight frame. Fire weight frame. I think my least used is actually, in fact. <gasps> Folks, people have called me in the past a wisp stan. Maharaga looking ass frame. <laughs> Guys, did you see? I can't go on TikTok without seeing like, oh my god, did you see the JJK Blu-ray? It looks so much cooler than the TV version. Anyway, before I get distracted, Shadow Trumna box. plus Wisp, we are increasing the Trumna's fire rate by a fuck ton. This is number five on the list of S tier primary weapons. We'll do a couple more. Uh, I might do Probuscus, Cernos, and Spore Lacer. That'll be six and seven. And then we'll kind of go from there. But These folks, I mean, Trumna is just an absolute monster. So be prepared for that. Yeah, it, you can see, like, you speed up that fire rate and it's like, fucking Christ. <laughs> this is Riven, so you're getting, like, an absurd amount of heat procs. It's kind of a comical number. Let's just get right into it, though, folks. Uh, I'm going to need black and white, man, so I, I think I have to let this buff run out. I'm not sure. Let's see, if I just drop a new one... Is it going to buff? It is going to get me the higher number. 100%. Yeah, that's fucked. Okay, let's see if this works. Whoop. Yeah, there you go. Bouncing projectiles, just like the Latron and Vernon. But yeah, I mean, what you're really talking about is just a fucking shit ton of damage. Look at this shit. Look at it. Look at it, folks. I'm just running around like a madman. 2300 health. I am, like, virtually invincible. And it's right next to the spawn room, too. So I think I can literally just hang out here all that I want. I do also have... Uh, roar that I need to keep active, so we're gonna do that. And then we also have Arcane Avenger that we want to keep active. So we've got, a, as you know, with Wisp, your entire screen is gonna be full of buffs. This is the perfect opportunity for the alt fire. Boom! That's how you do an alt fire, folks. That's what it's there for. That is a that is a map light. You just press alt, and then it's look, it's fully charged, like essentially instantly. Alt fire again. There we go. So juicy. I mean, you're just kind of running around way too fast. Like, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Like, oh my god. Oh, I ran out. Drop one down there. Does it activate when I'm below it as well? It does. It activates when I'm below it. Yeah, look at this. So I can keep it on that middle area and it'll cover everything. Look at this. I'm just attacking way too fast now. We've decided you're I'm just shooting way business. too fast. I gotta actually, like, compensate for the recoil now. God damn, look at this shit. And then I just click, and then everything dies. And then you can, like, fully charge this, like, essentially instantly. Look at this. Oh, I gotta reload. Oh, this is probably the perfect opportunity for a breach surge, followed by a Trumna spray. Look at that. Almost fully loaded. Almost fully torqued. Everything is on this lower level. And we map like. Look at that. Ah, uh, decent, but not crazy good. Look at this shit, dude. Look, it's a little bit better than they are right now. 
Uh, but yeah, as you can see, folks, it is just so simple. You, you know, you're dumping your magazine. It's you're, you're burning through ammo so fast. But as you can see, it's still 200 shots in the max. So you can just fucking spray. Like, just spray. I think if I shoot straight up and down, it just plays a lot better. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, keep it moving, folks. I mean, what are you really talking about? You're talking about moving at high speeds. You're talking about literally having this fully charged at all times. Like, it is just so easy. You just keep on moving, keep on spraying. You're going to come over here, click this, get that roar buff. Come down here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Let's do it. Here we go. Super speed. Top tier gameplay. I mean, I'm just slamming it now. Like, just... I'm playing like a madman. Digital extremes, please give us another gravity warfare. No, I feel it. No, but that would be the thing. If it would be a gravity warframe, it would be the Gojo frame. Because they haven't done Gojo before. They haven't done... Because it, it's so simple. It would literally just be red, blue, the... Like, folks, are you understanding this? That would be the gimmick. Like... How would it work though? How would you activate? Because the the purple would just be the fourth ability. So what would what would blue be? Blue would be an attract. So blue would pull enemies in. Okay. Red would just be like a cone of damage, or something like that. Like, or like some kind of armor strip. Like you know. And then and then of course purple. The final, the ultimate ability, that would be the complete deletion where it'd be like pure fire damage or something. It would be like this ball that's just pure fire damage. And it, no, it wouldn't be a ball. It would be a tube that just exists. That just, it's constant ticking damage. Think of it like exactly like Nightwatch Napalm where it's just a, it's just a tube of constantly ticking damage. And it would just it would just shred through everything. So you would pull enemies into this, and then you could literally like it would have a duration. It would scale with duration. So it would it would be this ball that creates this trail behind it that the trail lingers, and it would have a like and the linger duration would be affected by mods. So what you could do is you could have like you would need to have like 90% range. You would need to have really high strength, and then you would also need to have um, uh, what am I trying to say? You would also need to have, uh, you know, like 55 or more percent duration so that the trail would exist for long enough that you could essentially pull two groups of enemies into that trail to, like, really maximize that ability. So, like, the I would assume red would have to be some kind of armor strip so that you would pull enemies in and then you could also armor strip them. So you would have a choice between pulling two sets of enemies in or you could pull an, a, a, one set of enemies in, like, or one large enemy and then armor, armor strip them. So... It would be like this simple trade-off. Okay, here we go. Don't want to die right now. I did already succeed, so now I just need to kill him. Let's hit him with some big numbers. Come on, you need a good hit. You need a good hit on violence. There we go. Too easy. All right, we're out of here, folks. I want to snag that steel essence, and then we're good to go. All right, folks. So, yeah, I mean, that would be the Gojo frame. I just... I just spoke it into existence i would i don't know what the red ability i mean the blue would obviously have to be a pull ability like there's no way around it but yeah i would i would think it would be very cool to have like a projectile that has an initial damage tick and then a trail that has like further ticking damage you know similar to like discharge where it has like this ticking damage effect that arcs between enemies but yeah i mean i think it would be absolutely sick i think it'd be fucking odd. who's the other gravity frame because i know mag is more like magnetism Who's the gravity frame? Like, are we, are we talking about like a Radon frame? Like a Radon frame where you have a pull and then an explosion? <laughs> you could just make Radon in Warframe. Like you could, the ultimate ability would just be Radon's roar into the slam down. <laughs> and you would just make the AOE be all fire damage, like guaranteed fire proc. Uh, shout out Dylan Pounds for following. Uh, number three, third follower of the day, shout out. Yeah, no, I think a Radon frame would be fucking sick. And then you could, like, the horse would be, like, one of the, like, the first ability. Like, you could, like, float in the air and, like, still have all your shit active. But it's, like, similar to Marulina. But you're, like, oh. Uh, 
it's like the it's like the Daviri horse. You're actually on a fucking no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work in so many tile sets. Yeah, you would just have to like float in the air. That you would just activate your first ability and then you would float and you would like move slower and you could like da like it would it would be like a constantly consuming energy or something. I don't know. Uh that's number 5 on the list. Trumna, number 6 on the list. Probuscus Cernos is going to be one that I'm going to... Ooh, maybe... No, 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 no. I can use that with a better frame. Someone like Gara would be an interesting choice. Because Gara is a fun one where Gara has Arcane Avenger, but Gara also has Breach Surge. So uh, only one form of buff with Arcane Avenger, but still a great choice. So still a way to maximize your DPS. Um, we are at 825. So I think we'll probably do Probuscus Cernos. We might have time for Spore Laser, but we'll probably have to call it after this. So um, shout out to everybody who uh, stopped on by, you know, everybody on YouTube. Um, we've had a bunch. I want to say YouTube, you guys have been killing it. Uh, shout out Peter Green for saying you're um, YouTube. You guys have been killing it like so much average view duration. Like I'm blown away. Your like, thank you so much. YouTube. Music. And it's like, and yeah, I mean, it's, calls for a you're really just like, yeah, thank you for enjoying my content. Thank you for uh, for watching something that, that is uh, worth watching, I guess is what I'd say, for sticking around. So, really appreciate it, guys. Um, I also saw that, like, before the stream even started, there were two people who already liked the stream. So, that's awesome. I love that. I really appreciate you guys on YouTube. Um, I want to say we're at 451 subscribers. So, you know, we're you know we're only 49 subscribers away from hitting 500 and then that's when the that's when the stuff gets really crazy you know that's when we're going to do a lot more you know community involvement like the whole point is like part of having like this this great community like all these all these really awesome chatters like all the people in the comments that are really you know really that are really thought out and are offering really cool builds part of that is that i what i want to do for you guys is i want to give you the chance to get involved in the community and give you the chance to to talk about what's going on and be like yeah this is how i play warframe and then we can all come together and show it off and really be like yeah listen look at this folks there is really no wrong way to play warframe and i want people to show off that like look at this folks the way that i play is weird the way that i play some people may say it looks dumb but god damn it does it work for me god damn it is it awesome so i have so much fun with whatever weird build that i have and I think for me, that's what the usage list is for. Like, it's such a weird way to play the game. It, it, it makes the whole game feel so much stranger and like a completely different experience. But it also just makes the game so much better. Like, that's been the thing that literally saved me. After I got to Legendary 4, after I got everything and had nothing else to farm. You know what I farmed? I farmed the usage list. I, all I did was like, oh, the, the Cyanex or yeah, the Cyanex, the pistol is actually really good i have a stick that can hit nine digits uh shout out lucanari kanji there you go yeah that's what i'm talking about is it a? Uh, is it the exodia contagion build is that the one i'm thinking of is it like uh you have armor strip and then you also use eclipse and then you just get nine billion is that is that the build that i'm thinking of because that in, if so then I, I i hope i predicted it pretty well because I know that is like the most like that is like the YouTube build that I've just seen like everywhere. It's just like, yeah, I just use Exodia Contagion and then I use like Arcane Arachne or whatever. And then I just deal a billion damage. Like I strip all their armor and then I can basically one shot everything. Exodia Contagion on the Viral Zaw and High Power Chroma, no Eclipse. Yeah, but I pretty much nailed it. Like, I mean, if yeah, and then if he was using Arcane Arachne, then yeah, it would be essentially the same. But yeah, High Power Chroma. Yeah, like, because Chroma has, has Arcane Avenger for me, so it's like, yeah, for all intents and purposes, I get full points on that one. In my eyes, I get full points on that one. Because, yeah, Eclipse is just a worse version of Chroma, unless you're using it on Mirage, and then it's actually pretty good. But, yeah, you could use it on Mirage, and it would probably work really, really well as well. But it's like, yeah, that is like the, that is like the bog standard build, like so many times i'll just like look at like some random person that i played public with i'll look at their usage list and it'll be like uh whatever fucking zaw like 40 percent usage with one zaw it's like 40 percent usage with one zaw 40 percent usage with like yeah chroma or uh uh or a uh, mirage or any of those and i'm like okay here we go i see what it's gonna be but yeah it's interesting no armor strip i mean armor strip is also like the super duper like 
you can't do blah 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 unless you have armor strip and you have a clip like blah blah you have to use all the meta and then it's like that's a different kind of meta like that's way di when you deal with like endurance runners and people who are like yeah i'm doing void cascades to hit level a thousand it's like i hear that void cascade is like the quote unquote most profitable like you can make the most plat by selling um those arcanes that you get but overall i'm still like dude i'm not doing that shit i'm doing like at most an hour in circulus and that is fucking plenty stressful without dealing with level a thousand enemies without dealing with fucking max level enemies like you can make this game stressful those without you know just scaling the le the enemy level to a level a thousand like my whole philosophy is like if you can play the game to level a thousand that game mode is probably really easy like that game mode is probably really easy to like break down and like oh you've probably been using the exact same build for like a zillion years uh you can also put eclipse on chroma dude that's fucking hilarious shout out uh, dylan pounds for saying i gotta go shout out dylan pounds for sticking around gotta love it as always but yeah folks i mean i mean bro. i've seen it all like when people start talking about oh yeah does it survive at level a thousand i'm like folks let's be real here if you can play to level a thousand, the game probably isn't too very difficult. Like, there's probably better ways to make the game stressful. Like, play Circulus, you know, fucking fight a Steel Path Necromech if you're feeling crazy. Like, for me, like when we're gonna get into it when we talk about pistols, but I have a new classification for pistols, and that's the classification of a Necromech killer. And a Necromech killer is a pistol which has the it has a certain level of absurd damage potential to the point where i don't have to worry about what melee weapon that i have and part of that plays into how i play uh cavia bounties so cavia bounties now that there's a steel path cavia bounty those are going to be level 200 necromex level 200 enemies level 200 necromex they As are still bounties so most of them i can still do so solo but also yourself. the bigger thing is uh, if you want to see my level 1,000 frame, it's Varuna. Yeah, Varuna. I mean, boom, that's points there. I could have predicted that one. <laughs> I could have seen that one from a mile away. <laughs> God, I, I mean, uh, fuck. I think it was when I did the Kulervo build. I think I got a fuck ton of comments because I, I, I did the clickbait title. I was like, um, Kulervo is a better Varuna? clickbait like obviously and then people were like no veruna is so much there was and people were like veruna is the best frame in the game and they're like no the secret set is you put wrathful advance on veruna and then she's the bad i'm like oh my god i i did not know what i was getting into and it was a it was a grand old time i was having a lot of fun anyway that's number six on the list we have time for number seven equilibrium on hunt keeps energy up for stat spreads and continue continuous ult yeah, dude, I just used uh, Rage. I just took so much fucking damage. I just put Rage on, and then I used uh, Grace and Guardian, and then I just spammed. I literally just only used Ensnare and her two. I got rid of her three. I didn't even use it. I didn't even use uh, like Cast on. Like, I'm being real here, folks. Uh, number seven on the list, Spore Lacer. Yeah, I didn't even really... And I didn't even use her ult, really. Like, I'm sure you can, like, Giga Max it out if you play it right, but honestly, I was like, fuck it, man. I don't even, I don't even need the ult. Invis in the ult, yeah, it doesn't break stealth. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I've heard is like you have to invis before you ult, and then it works properly. So, that's been the strategy that I've been, that I've been seeing like everywhere. But honestly, what I found, um, oh, am I using the right frame? I could probably, uh, I think this might still be a good choice. Yeah, something with breach surge at least. Yeah, I might still use Gara. No, I mean, uh, I think what I found is um, her two, the stats shit, just deals, just fucking deletes everything. Like, all I do is I, I hit enemies with ensnare, and then I press two, and then everything dies. Like, I never even got the chance to activate her ult before everything was dead. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck, dude? What the hell is going on? Anyway, this is number uh, seven on the list, Spore Laser. Uh, I want to say, shout out Respawn for saying top five Warframes. Uh, that's a hard one. I will say, uh, Kulervo is up there. I won't put them in any order, but I'll tell you, uh, what they are. Kulervo is up there. Um, uh, 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 I would say Hydroid is up there. I would say uh, Zephyr is up there. So that's three. Uh, 
I would say Wisp would probably have to be up there. And then maybe like Grendel, maybe? Grendel, maybe. I might have to put two different frames in Grendel's slot. Like I would say Grendel or like maybe Saren. Stalker is Ash Prime's angry cousin. No, dude, honestly, I fucking love the Stalker ability set. Stalker is so much fun to play. Like, yeah, because you literally just get the, the Ash like crit chance invisibility bonus and it's so much fun. Also, Tell me the spore laser isn't fucking bonkers. <laughs> Tell me it's not so fucking. I mean, the the thing that sucks is yeah, you dump your entire magazine so fast, but yet yeah, everything dies. Like it is just absurd. And basically lethal teleport. Yeah, I mean for the most, it is just lethal teleport, right? Surprise, no Mesa or Goss. Ah, oh, fuck, no. No, no, no. Uh, I'm replacing Grendel with Mesa. But yeah, Goss. Yeah, I'm not putting Goss on the list. Because I have uh, Wisp. And Wisp gives you fire rate. But is also like the, like probably the best support frame in the game. So I would have to put Wisp up there. But yeah, no. Uh, you're right. Uh, Mesa replaces Grendel. Because Grendel is also a support frame. He does have infinite energy. But honestly, infinite energy is more like a Netracel bonus. It's not really something that I need for like normal gameplay. Um... What Warframe is that? I'm playing Gara Prime right now. Uh, so with my Gara Prime build, she's kind of a defense frame. So I'm using Breach Surge as a pacify that also amplifies damage. Uh, I'm also using Arcane Avenger on Gara, which means that as long as I'm taking damage, I get free bonus crit chance. So I, I have base crit chance. So it's like makes every weapon insanely good. Then the thing that I'm testing right now is the Spore Laser Primary. Excuse me, the Spore Laser Primary. Uh, dude, I feel like I could go longer than this. I might show off the Stalta and shit. Honestly, folks, th I'm having a lot of fun right now. I'm feeling like streaming a little bit longer, folks. What do you mean you don't need 2 million energy, of course, over the course of half an hour from a Harrow main? <laughs> no, I love Harrow. Harrow's my favorite. Because, <laughs> yeah, Harrow, uh, um, Harrow is very similar. Like, he's just so weird, and he's like a shield frame. So it's like, yeah, you have a lot of health and you have like infinite health regen from your two, but then also you have to uh, uh, keep your four active. So it's like, yeah, I just can't put Harrow on the list because he's so fucking spam heavy. You're just constantly like, are my abilities active? Like you're, and then the whole like, the way that your two, your second ability works is so fucking weird. It's so weird, but it's really, really fun. And you're like, oh, I love this, but it's also stressful and annoying and like takes a, a lot of time. <laughs> And it's like overly complicated in, in like the most, the best Warframe way possible. Like it's so good. I fucking love it, dude. Like it is like one of the best times I've had in a long time. Like you're just like spamming your abilities constantly. Like, oh fuck, my four isn't active. Oh fuck, my two isn't active. Oh fuck, I'm out of shields. Oh god, I need to recast my three. It's just like, oh god, I've never, I've never done. It's never over. It's so much fun. Infinite healing, shields, energy, and constant 200 crit or invincibility. Yeah, I mean, Folkloric she Sword knows what I'm talking about. But that's the whole thing, is it's like... He's just Harrow, dude. He's just Harrow. He's just... He will always just be Harrow. He'll have a fuck ton of buffs. He'll have pillage, so your armor stripping. But yeah, you don't have any pacification abilities. You don't have any grouping abilities. Like, you, you have the crit chance buff. You have the fire rate buff. And, like, those go crazy. But he is just a buff frame and an armor strip. Like, he has those two traits going for him. And there are just, like, some really, really strong floor frames. Like, there's some tanks that literally cannot be killed. Like, Garu or Gara, you get 90% damage resistance. You don't have to worry about that. Like, you should not have to worry about that. Uh, you have Gara, who also has Breach Surge. You have Gara, who also has uh, a Spectra Rage, which kind of pulls enemies towards that central point. You have all these different abilities. Like, Gara is pretty weak overall. Gara is actually, like, not even one of my favorite frames at all. But, like, there are so many different reasons why I love frames. And a lot of it isn't just for having that absurd damage capability. Because in the end, a buff frame is just a buff frame. A buff frame is still reliant on using a meta primary and using something like the Falcor to guarantee that that buff will be paid in full. And that's the whole point. It's like you're making a bet. Yeah. 
A oh, shout out Trinity as well. Um, Trinity with Eclipse. I fucking love Trinity with Eclipse. Uh, obviously, Trinity, my favorite way to build Trinity is building for Blessing. Uh, so that means maxing out on duration, going negative range. I am just... Oh, I did not kill Angst. I did not kill Angst. I fucked up. I have, I have a fucking ass load of these guys just chilling right here. I need to kill these guys first. Um, who's your favorite frame? Favorite frame to play as? Uh, I love your content, by the way. Shout out Whammy Wham. Or Whammy Wham, I guess I should say. Um, favorite frame to play? Honestly, I would say it has to be, like, a frame that's actually, like, super complicated. Like, I can't just say it's a Zephyr, because that's kind of a cop-out answer. Because I always say Zephyr. You know, when Daviri was out, I said Zephyr, because... Zephyr like trivialized Daviri. Like as long as you got Zephyr or Vobin or like any frame that has full horizon, like you're essentially easy moding the entire game. Uh those dudes are dead, I'm leaving them behind. Fuck off. I'm failing this mission also. Um infinite Wait, did I oh did I scroll up accidentally? Wait one. Oh no, that was on TikTok. That was in YouTube, never mind. Uh yeah, I would say like Kulero is also really fun because you have that like insane melee buff, like guaranteed red crits on all melee weapons all the time. It's fucking crazy. It's like bonkers, dude. So good. Uh, shout out Whammy Wham for uh, for uh, chatting in, in YouTube. I mean, I love it. Yeah, I mean, folks, like, that's why I love this game. Like, you really can't go wrong. Like, you have, there's so many weird fun. Oh my God. Folks, I'm starting to get tired. Have an amazing night. This is fun watching. I'll see you next time. Dude, shout out. Shout out. Gotta love it. Uh, one more. I think one more. We'll do one more weapon. We'll do Salta and then call it. An hour, an hour and 50 minutes probably is what we'll close it out at. That's really good. Uh, Stalta. This is going to be a fun one. I'm going to have to decide what's a good Warframe for Stalta. Hmm. Oh my god. I would say probably Wisp. I would say I'm going to use it on Wisp. You get the fire rate. You also get Breach Surge. And you get Roar, and you get Arcane Avenger. So, Stalta, the amount of damage that this Stalta is going to be doing should, you know, make your eyes pop out of your glasses like a comical fool. Uh, King Snail says, what's your favorite Warframe to use? Uh, very interesting. Right at the end of the stream. Uh, excuse me, I got to get some water. I would say, yeah. A lot of the newer frames, I'm just loving. Like, every time they release a new frame, I'm always just loving it more. Your more. weapons make... music like i thought kulero was really cool calls for a i thought that was awesome um i thought that dante is really awesome like for me i can tell when i really love a frame when i don't touch their kid at all i don't helmet out a single ability i just play them how they are and they just play perfectly like varuna i put in snare on varuna um uh corvex i put breach surge on corvex um uh uh uh, oh, uh, Dagoth, I put, uh, Breach Surge on Dagoth. So, a lot of Warframes, I haven't just left as the stock kit, because I feel like they get augmented more by replacing one of their core abilities with a Helmet ability, which is kind of just also a statement to how I play the game, that it's a little bit different. And I'm favoring different things in Warframes, but I, because I see the opportunity for... Uh, comical number. Anyway, let's get into Stalta gameplay. Let's see if I can actually just one-shot everybody. That's kind of my goal, is to just clear everything in one hit. That's looking pretty good so far. As you can see, Wisp is kind of trivializing this, like, very heavily. Look at those numbers, dude. Look at that. So easy. I don't even have Arcane Avenger active, which kind of sucks. But yeah, I'm literally just going to stay near my moat the whole time. Thoughts on Valkyr? I love Valkyr. Um, I do have a weird build on Valkyr. I think what's really fun about her is that her Warcry ability gives you so much armor that you don't actually have to have armor built in. Like, it gives you enough bonus armor that you just don't have to worry about shit. So you just have this, like, unkillable lady with this, 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 ultimate, this ultimate ability that applies so much slash procs that you're just clearing everything out. And, and she has this insane gimmick where you just go back and forth between like 
taking damage to build up your rage meter so you have full energy and then just unleashing your ultimate while you're spamming in snare to essentially just like map wipe everything like the the slide attack on your ultimate just deals like fucking stupid amounts of damage actually where is the mountaining drum uh i've been looking for a full 10 minutes wait what are you talking about the mountaining drone what are you talking about i'm confused eclipse and eternal war augment is also nuts eternal war uh which one is that is that on kulervo no which one is oh that's the oh that's valkyr no no eternal war is the augment for the fourth ability yeah yeah the augment for the fourth what does that do i don't remember what that one does I've been stuck looking for a drone on a Cetus bounty. Oh my god, get fucked. Did you- wait, did it just actually just not spawn for you? That's fucking awful. Mag has been my favorite frame since started back in 2016. I just love her kid. Yeah, dude, and now Mag has like one of the best grouping abilities in the game. And that puts her as like one of the best. Like, it's now for me honestly a choice either between mag or excalibur i would say those two are just honestly highly favorable like mag is way more squishy but like dude that pull ability is fucking insane you don't even need that much stats and you can basically just deal with pretty much everything in the star chart just so easily so uh yeah i mean folks i'm having a blast i'm loving this uh i'm loving just everybody stopping by and chatting in youtube and on tiktok uh, especially shout out people on YouTube. I know I love you TikTok. You'll always be my fave. Eternal War is Warcry Augment. Oh, kills prolong the buff. Ah, oh, yes. That one. I wonder if I have that. I don't think I do, but yeah, no, that's a fucking savage one. I've been thinking, yeah. I mean, like, that... Honestly, folks, I, what I've been noticing is, like, sometimes when a frame gives me the opportunity to put ensnare on them or something, I just favor that. And it just plays so weird. But then, yeah, you could just totally pull this. Use Eternal War. Have infinite melee attack speed all the time. And you're pretty much just cruising and bruising. Like, the game... You can turn this game into easy mode in so many different ways that it's, like... Oculus. It's so much fun. And that's why, like, dude... I'm gonna get you guys in the Discord. We're gonna get your builds in the gameplay so I can show them off. Like, I wanna be, like... Folks, look at this kooky build. Look at this build that I'm giving points on top of points for. And then we're going to go back to the old system where I was doing build goblin segments. And I was doing a, a, a you know, look goblin segments. Fashion goblin segments, I guess I called them. But yeah, I mean, you're seeing it, folks. You're seeing the numbers. Just jump back and forth. Uh, what am I missing? With the Eclipse buff for power and Warcry for defense, she's practically immortal without her ult. No, dude, I feel it. Violence, again, I hate this game. Let's see how much damage we do. It's decent, decent. Yeah, I think I'm still just going to favor this. And that. And then this is the last one, folks. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, it was a, it was a great one. I mean, the S tier list is like... Honestly... I hope them. part of the video is showing you that, like, sometimes the S-tier weapons are actually cooler than the meta weapons. Like, meta weapons can be boring in a way where it's like, oh, yeah, it just allows you to dump 50 bajillion fucking explosions all at once. Uh, shout out Max Axe M for sending a tiny diny and Lucan uh, Lucanari Kanji for sending a heart and also following me. Shout out Lucanari Kanji. Uh, I think I said that right. Yeah, Lucanari Kanji. Uh, but, yeah, folks, I mean... It's been a great one. I've had so much fun. Shout out King Snail 40 for following right at the end. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you stuck around till the end, if you're here on TikTok uh, and you're interested in seeing any of my other videos, um, I have my YouTube. The link to my YouTube is on my profile on TikTok. Um, you know, I've got the meta primary tier list. I've got all the different Warframe tier lists. We're talking, you know, tank As Warframes. We're talking foe, so much so stuff. You, you know, crowd control, yourself. DPS, uh, so many different Warframes. Lucanari Kanji sending a Rosa, sending a GG. I'm so broke, I'm selling a Gladiator Resolve for two plat. Bro, oh my god. Gotta love it. 4,600 likes on TikTok, 77 comments, four new followers. So shout out Lucanari Kanji and King Snail for following right at the end. 
um yeah 148 total views i mean it was a great stream folks it was awesome um but yeah i'm done the game the stream is over i hope you guys enjoyed um obviously shout out everybody on youtube right here at the end um if you enjoyed you know i would really appreciate it if you subscribed i mean we are at what 451 out of 500 so we're really getting close uh, and, you know, once we hit that 500, uh, yeah, and folks, if you want to join the Discord, the link is also on my profile on TikTok, or it's in the description on YouTube. Uh, so go there, join the Discord. Um, like I said, uh, throughout the stream, when I hit 500 subs, the goal is that we can, I want to do like, a, maybe what I'm thinking is a monthly video. So I, I'll put out, uh, I'll basically put out some kind of poll or some kind of topic at the beginning of every month. And then I, I'm encouraging you guys to go in, you know, send in your builds, send in some pictures. I'm going to take those pictures. I'm going to compile them into a video and we're going to be able to talk about them. I'll be able to credit you guys. We'll, I'll put together a whole Photoshop of, you know, here's the build and then here's their credit and here's their Warframe tag. So we'll get all that stuff so we can all get involved in that. And then, you know, we'll be, I'm, I'm, I'm planning on doing giveaways and part of the giveaways is like, if you're a member on YouTube or you're a, a subscriber on TikTok, then you can get, um, you know, you can get bonus uh, drops. So you'll get double entries into the raffle uh, and the raffle is going to be fun. It'll be think of it like a sortie where you can, uh, you know, you can win the raffle, but then you can still get an Anasa sculpture so that you can win that or you could get a hundred plat drop and you could be like, oh, I'll, I'll buy anything within this range of plat and I'll gift it to you. And then that'll be the thing. And so what will happen is, you know, you'll uh, you'll type a command in Discord and then it'll enter you in the raffle. And then whoever wins, you just got to be there on Discord. I'll hound you. I'll be on your ass after the stream is over. We'll send you to that. I'll send a screenshot being like, oh, yeah, look at this. He won. You know, it was awesome. So, uh, yeah, definitely join the Discord. I saw a couple of people join in Discord. We had Folkloric join. Uh, shout out Folkloric. Um, yeah, folks, that's all I got for you. So I'm out of here, YouTube. You guys were great. That was amazing. I had a great time. So take care, folks. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.